OK, so how did you go then from that, that nadir, I suppose, emotionally and to an extent physically for you, to this amazing scenario where you find yourself managing Mary I uh, to victory? I mean, this is quite a leap. Yeah, well, it, look, it's a million miles. Uh, yeah, so what, 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 what was that? <laughs> what, what went down in the middle? Like, <laughs> year, year, years of, um, yeah. I suppose... Um, you know, rehab and I suppose for me, like I think back to when I was in secondary school doing maths and really? my maths teacher, uh, Owen O'Leary says to me, he said to us all in first year maths, he said, guys, with maths, no matter how far you go or how start it is, when you're faced with a problem you don't know how to fix, do what you know first. And eventually it might become a problem you know how to fix. So. I applied that from the start with my rehab, with everything. With what do I know? I know sport. I know being an athlete. So I trained. I did rehab as much as I could. I brought that as far as I could. And then the natural progression with that then was, what am I into? Sport. What makes me happy? Sport. What drives me? Sport. Yeah. What particular sport? GA. And, you know, I got involved with Mary I, and the coaching thing just kind of happened really naturally. And I remember almost like, we'll say, if that Tipperary Cork moment is like there yeah almost the opposite point of it was the morning of the 2016 Fitzgibbon Cup final yeah which is the first Fitzgibbon where I was a selector working under Eamon Cregan and I remember waking up in my house in Cork and the final was in CIT and just feeling sick and feeling sick with nerves and worry and kind of managing a cup of coffee and like breakfast being put in front of me and almost getting sick and driving up in the car thinking this is unreal. I've missed this so much. Really? Do you know what I mean? Because I hadn't, because I hadn't cared about anything as much That's as that. Really Do you know? Yeah. And that feeling of euphoric, al being yeah. alive. Yeah, being you're alive. alive. You're like, I'm sick to my stomach over this. <laughs> and that was the day I'm, I, I was like, I have to be involved in this in some way. This is what I have to do because I read like this is what gets me out of bed in the morning.